Hi, I'm Evan Reinheimer. I'm here at the Coconut Grove Arts Festival in Miami this weekend. Thanks for watching. This weekend I'm in one of my most favorite cities, Miami, Florida, to exhibit at the Coconut Grove Arts Festival. And I'm extra excited for the show this weekend for a few reasons. First of all, I had no show last week, which is pretty rare for me in the winter, so I'm extra well rested for this week. I'm showing a lot of new pieces that have never been seen before in Miami, and most of all, the Coconut Grove Arts Festival hasn't been held in a few years because of the pandemic, and in that time they've made a lot of positive changes, all in the interest of increasing sales for artists. They have a new director who's been really awesome so far. They've reduced the number of exhibiting artists and taken the emphasis off of musical acts and returned the focus to the visual artists who are exhibiting their work in the show. All of these things sound great to me, so I'm really excited to see how it turns out this weekend. The Coconut Grove Arts Festival has been doing a ton of really effective social media marketing for this year's event. For artists, having a social media presence is more important than ever right now. A lot of artists seem to write off the importance of social media, but I'm here to tell you it's not too late to start, and even a very small following can help you dramatically increase your art sales. Social media seems to come much more naturally to millennials and younger generations, and a recent survey conducted by the National Association of Independent Artists showed that festival artists are mostly of an older generation, and I'm sure that's a big part of why many don't see how it can be used to effectively sell more art at festivals. Social media is a direct line to your collectors to keep them informed about your shows, new artwork, and give them a small glimpse into your life as an artist. As artists, we can also support each other by following each other on social media and interacting with posts that we make. Another thing I did to help increase my Instagram following is I put these QR codes in my booth and I'll show you what I'm talking about here. So I made this little sign here with a QR code that links to my Instagram profile. To show you how effective the QR code is, here's my actual new follower graph from my Instagram insights. You can see in the week leading up to the show I was only getting a couple followers per day and then this big bump in the middle are the three days of the Coconut Grove Arts Festival and most of these new followers came to my profile through the QR code in my booth. Make sure you guys watch till the end of the video because I'll show you how to make one of these QR code signs for your booth. It's really simple. Now let's take some time to meet another artist who's here at the Coconut Grove Art Festival this weekend. Okay, so I'm here with my friend and fellow artist Jennifer Ardolino. Jennifer is an artist from here in Florida. And in addition to the beautiful artwork that Jennifer does that I've admired for a long time, even before I was friendly with Jennifer, Jennifer is running a new Instagram feed called InstaArt Girls that promotes women artists. So Jennifer, would you tell us a little bit about the InstaArt Girls Instagram that you're doing? Sure, absolutely. Um, it's just been kind of a fun way to group a bunch of girls, women together, artists. and. We do a little feature on the first post, we put maybe up to 10 images, and then every weekend we try to do a feed of where all the artists are and what show and a few pictures. It's just kind of fun to like get a group of women to share their art and direct people to everybody's uh, other Instagram pages and websites. Cool, well thanks for sharing that with us, Jennifer. Yeah, um, I'm gonna put a link to the Insta Art Girls feed in the description of this video and also a link to Jennifer's social media and website as well. So make sure you check those out and um, follow all of them. Any, um, any women artists out there, get in touch and we'll add you to our feed. Awesome, yeah, the more we can support each other, the better it is for all of us Thank artists. You. Thanks, Jennifer. Thanks, everybody. Okay, so now I'm going to show you how to make one of those QR codes so that people can scan it and follow your Instagram right from your booth. 
The first thing you're going to do is open up the Instagram app on your phone. Go to your Instagram profile page and click those three little bars at the top right corner. About halfway down that menu you're going to see a line that says QR code. Tapping the little thing at the top that says color will change the background and look of the QR code. So you can select a different style. And then the little U-shaped thing with the arrow at the top will allow you to save it to your phone so that then you can put it on your computer and make a little sign out of it and print it out and hang in your booth. Now you've seen the design that I use on my sign. Instead of copying exactly what I have, come up with something that works for the aesthetics of your booth. Make sure you keep up with posting information about your artwork and where you're going to be exhibiting so that people can get value out of following you. I hope that helps. Let me know in the comments if you have any questions or want to see something a little different. Thanks for watching.